If you go on to enjoy the video, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing. It does really help me out a lot. And if you're into Funko Pops, I've just started a brand new channel dedicated to them. The link for that can be found in the description. And beat the random lottery that is FIFA points by buying the coins direct from u7buy.com. Use code TVM at checkout for a 5% discount. Or if you're a new customer, get 8% discount. The link is down below. What is going on, guys? TVM here. Welcome back to 6 p.m. content. Okay. Uh, I wanted to see if there was going to be a load screen because we are expecting foot birthday on Friday, but that wasn't a load screen. It just sort of flashed, and I think we're going to log straight in again here, which is really annoying. I'm guessing someone will have posted it on Twitter, but it's literally just turned 6 p.m., so I'm kind of hoping... There we go. So again, no load screen. What day is it? Tuesday? It's not the end of the world. Tuesday. Uh, I think maybe tomorrow or... Well, Thursday, uh, you could probably expect something. The, apparently, I missed something in 6 p.m. content yesterday. There was an objective uh, for a pack. So, Mega Matchup, I, I remember talking about that. What the hell is that? Y21 S4 Hulu 3 Group. Fantastic. So, I'm guessing that is the Weekend League picks, uh, maybe? It. I mean... I have no idea. I guess I guess that's what it is. Uh, so, what would that be? Ten wins, seventeen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen wins, something like, something like that. And then twenty, twenty-two. Oh, there we go. It says ten, sixteen, twenty-two. I'm stupid. So yeah, there we go. The weekend league picks, even though they are in code form and not in actual writing, they are back in. Um, apparently, I missed something else. I don't. I mean, if maybe the person who told me missed the fact that I picked up on this. I'm not sure. Um, in fact, I'm going to go have a look to see just in case there is something I, I desperately missed. Um, no, I don't... No, I'm not sure. I, I really don't know what he's talking about. I think he's talking out of his ass. Speaking of uh, the guy I'm talking about, Multiplayer HD, who doesn't upload videos anymore because he's lazy, we play co-op together, and he has sent me over his Prime Icon pack as well as a player pick. I don't know what either of them are. I know the, what the Prime Icon is, of course, like, where it's come from. I don't know what the Icon actually is, and I don't know what the player pick is and what it's from. Like, at all. I've got no idea. So we'll look at those in a second. No new objectives, apart from the Weekend League stuff uh, that I assume is new because it's still in code form. Otherwise, surely they would have fixed it, you'd have thought. Um, today, to be fair, on a Tuesday, I'd be surprised if we had anything. Um, Rudiger, Lamar, they were already there. Cavani already there. Busquets has now got a dynamic image. He, of course, was dropped yesterday. We have Gundogan, who was already there. Uh, they were already there. Marquee matchups I still need to do. Fox in the box for a rare gold pack. That is new, and that's Champions League themed. There's only one segment, therefore there's not like you know like a small marquee matchups or anything within this, which is a little bit irritating. It's untradeable as well, and there's nothing in packs. So maybe you want to do that and keep it for Friday. Not sure. Uh, keep racism out of football kit and so on and so forth. There should be free in my opinion, but it is what it is. And yeah, there we go. So nothing there. I, leagues wise, I haven't been in this section for so long when do they actually expire 14 days left on the championship and the champions league i haven't been in there for god knows how long and of course the icons are what they are they're still there and of course they've not added any new upgrades or anything it would be nice if they had a little revamp you know just for just for the sake of it you know i i, I spoke about this very briefly earlier in the video that i put out today and i i feel like the game is a little bit stale it's a it's a it, it kind of a right, reminds me of the Walking Dead TV show. Where are you going with this? I don't know. Uh, so, the Walking Dead started off really good, right? It, it, I mean, if you don't like that type of thing, fair enough, you're not going to like it. But it was really good, right? And the sort of setup of the show was, first off, it was, let's deal with zombies. And then we've got, like, this rival group thing trying to kill us. They don't care about zombies. They just want us dead because they want our stuff or whatever. And then after that sort of took its course and they killed them and they moved on, next season, guess what happened? Zombies are still there. Another random group come out of nowhere and they've got to try and defeat them. It's been the same thing for 10 years in The Walking Dead. It's exactly the same. They have a fight with this group. They kill them. A few people die in the process. They move on. Another group comes along and repeat and rinse, right? Or rinse and repeat. Ultimate Team is exactly the same thing. They they change things every now and again. They kill things off, you know? They, they change 
footmas and foot freeze comes in and Halloween goes out, rule breakers come in. They, they tweak it slightly here or there, but they never really change the, the core concept. And after 11 years now of this, I'm, I'm not over it necessarily. Maybe it's 12 years, but not over it. I still like FIFA and I still like Ultimate Team. I just feel like they need to have a change and a big change. They need to just completely overhaul the whole thing so that it's not the same process over and over again, you know? Why did I think of that? I was in the upgrade section and I was thinking, they never change this. It's, it's bronze, silver, gold. And then halfway through the year or a few months into the year, they bring in the foot champs upgrade. And that's it. You never get anything else in that section until next FIFA. And then they start it again. Why, you know, why not? Why wouldn't it be nice to have a permanent 81 plus in there or a permanent player pick upgrade or something? Just something random in there. Maybe every week they change it and it's constantly there, but they change it, you know? I don't get it. I don't understand it. Anyway, I've probably wasted enough of your time. What we're going to do now is we're going to go and have a look at the Prime Icon pack on my co-op partner multiplayer HD's account. I'll get to play with them as well, so you'll see a review, unless it's someone I already own or have reviewed in the past, and that mysterious player pick that I know nothing about. As I've loaded the clip into the editing software, I can see that it is a Weekend League Plus. Now, I know absolutely nothing about this. Believe me if you want, that's fair enough, but I'm not in the habit of deceiving people. This is a red pick from Weekend League, and I wish I hadn't even seen it. Um, yeah, that's shocking. That's one of the reasons why I don't play it anymore. The informs are just not good enough. And now we move on to the icon pack, which again, I know nothing about. He's got a small goal players pack to open. Um, I've, I've just loaded this clip into the editing software, so we're going to let it run and I'm going to watch it first time. I, I mean, I'm kind of hoping someone I can use myself as well, really. Uh, we tend to use his team in, um, in co-op more than mine. Not because mine's not as good or anything. I tend to use a lot more sort of just like fun quote-unquote players um and and he'll have I, I would argue maybe the better top end players minus uh ronaldo uh but either way nothing in that pack unfortunately he's already got cruyff and kaka so kind of looking for maybe me i would say hullet but neither of us really want that uh i don't know big boy would be nice good flag don't want a bum flag i had uh check literally check and he has himself a Welsh flag. Oh, dear. Oh, it's left mid. It's going to be Ryan Giggs. It could have been Ian Rush, which would have been a little bit happier. Or I would have been a little bit happier about it. Um, he's actually a Manchester United fan. so And he's Welsh, ironically. So I think he'll be all right with this. And doesn't everyone look really good in an AC Milan kit? It's just a really nice kit. I don't know why. Um, I don't even know about that, to be honest. I mean, I know no, no one really likes Ryan Giggs, mainly because of the weak foot. Uh, but, I mean, as far as a Welshman is concerned, I'm not actually a massive fan of Ryan Giggs anyway for the way that he, uh, when he was a player in the national team. Obviously managing it quite well, but not really, uh, yeah, he never really played in it too well. But either way, I don't know, what do you think of that? Would you be happy if you pulled Ryan Giggs? I think I'd be happier to get Giggs than Petr Cech, which is what I got. But that's just me personally. I mean, in terms of the stats, they're not bad. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you have enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for you, and until the next time, goodbye. Thank you